Hello na everyone! Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in a few days, Miss Universe Philippines na. And as I always say, ang Miss Universe ay ang Gay Super Bowl. So I guess ang Miss Universe Philippines ay ang Gay PBA. <laughs> but anyway, I'm gonna be shooting Miss Eliza Malinao today, one of the candidates of this year's Miss Universe Philippines. And si Eliza, actually, na-shoot ko na siya a few times before. First time na yung mag-shoot was for Asia's Next Top Model. Ang nag-guest photographer and guest judge ako dun. And she did really well ng first two episodes. So, yay team Philippines. Um, but after nun, nakapag-isang editorial lang kami ata. And then group editorial pa siya. And then after that, hindi na kami nakapag-shoot. And the past few years, nakita ko talaga yung transformation ni Eliza into yung current form niya na sobrang makatuloy siyang supermodel. Like, yung body niya naging sobrang fit and sobrang toned. So, ang talaga rin siyang gusto i-shoot ulit. And thankfully, nag-message siya sa akin a few weeks ago. And ayan, so we organized this shoot today. And nung minessage niya talaga ako, originally, sabi ko, gusto ko siyang i-shoot nung mga like, Paco Rabanne looks from the 60s na medyo futuristic na retro. So yun, after nun, naisip ko talaga na si Els yung kailangan mag-style nito. Kasi kami dalawa ni Els, we've shot a few beauty queens na rin. And we really enjoy doing um, shoots with beauty queens. Kasi alam namin na yung market niya will be like gay people like us na may hilig sa mga pageants. And of course, today, si Justine na mag-makeup. And si Aris yung mag-hair. It's gonna be one big baklaan session dito. So sobrang excited na rin ako to shoot. Dapat talaga shoot kami sa studio. But um, since uh, wala akong mabok na studio today, so nito na tayo sa bahay. Kaya ako nakachinelas lang ngayon sa shoot. I'm gonna take you through the behind the scenes of today's shoot. And if you wanna find out more, just keep on watching. So today, uh, dito lang tayo mag-shoot sa bahay. Actually, first time ko lang mag-shoot sa bahay after quarantine. Studio ko, ginawa ko na siyang gym. So, ayan, today, Black na yung floor niya, but um, kinonvert na ulit namin siya into a studio. Siyempre, meron akong mga ano, malalaking, <laughs> like yung squat rack ko. Yung aking squat rack, you know ha? Clothes rack at si Tita Elves. Of course, so may patabog ang beauty queens. Talagang kaming dalawa <laughs> mahilig dyan. True. And today, ang team natin is... Basta puro bakla lang kami today. Bukas na bukas na ang parlor. And today, ang inspo natin, Tita Elves, is... Ano nga ba? Pusti <laughs> 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 ka! Bakit nalang rin kasing gustong gawin na parang inspired ng mga 60s. Paco Raban, collection, si mga futuristic niya. Futuristic mo! Yes. Payets! Gusto mo yun? Oo! Oh, 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 yes. <laughs> Pero payets! Also, parang to make it a bit more modern, so yung hair and makeup naman, mas 90s inspired din. Along with some other clothes na medyo 90s inspired din. Parang yeah. medyo comfort Gucci na sleek lang yeah. na white. So combining silver with white. And super bagay rin kasi siya, I guess, skin tone ni Eliza. Yeah. Na very, very tan. And let's pakita mo naman yung mga kandar mo to be. Muna rin, run through tayo. Oo, oh, 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 ano to ha? Naalala ko may, may specific image si BJ na gusto matchy. Na parang gusto niya na. Dahil nga again sa brown skin ni Eliza. Parang ah. ganda ng super lilis lang na white. Na white. And nakita lang namin to actually oh. sa Instagram. Yes. Kasi parang sakto kausap ni Elks yeah. yung ano. Yung PR. PR that day, nung brand na to. Patton. Like Patton Studio. Yes. For setting this. Mostly mga loungewear, di ba? Yung mm -hmm. stuff nila. Body and, suits. Ganyan. Yeah. And then Tapos parang... Tapos talaga, ito talaga yung pinaka-challenge ko. <laughs> Kasi sabi niya, okay, gusto ko may mataas na gladiator. Pakita natin yung picture nung Insta. Oh, Paco oh. Rabanne. Oh, oh. <laughs> sabi nga sa akin niya, okay, achieve natin. Yung gusto ko talaga yung hanggang hita, hanggang singit na yung <laughs> ano ha. Hirap na hirap ako. So, bumalik tayo sa pagiging college natin. True. Napa, napadi, napadi ay way talaga ako guys. Dahil wala na pong nagkagladiators ngayon. Parang yung mga nagsisimula pa lang kami ni Elle. So, Marami yung mga ganyang ah! moments. Kasi halos sabay kami nag-star. Yes. Although mas bata si Elle sa akin. O, kabili lang ako ng department store na sapato. Sa sandals. At kinabitan natin ng Velvet Ribbon. From, <laughs> from National Bookstore. Book yes! Okay. So makikita niyo kung paano namin to magagawa ng paraan. Ito talaga! <laughs> 
Kagabi lang to. Kagabi lang, ten, ten Kasi, PM, ten PM. Okay. So, ina siya talaga pa ako naman talaga lahat. And yung white na yun. Yun oh. lang talaga. Mm-hmm. And then, nung nag-send na si El sa akin, nung mga pin-repair niya na clothes, yung mga silver, ito, oh. itong mga ito, ang gaganda. As it is, may mga headpiece na ganito. Oh, oh sabi ko, wow, nakapagpatunay na ako. Oo, oh, super na-inspire ako. Oh, so, oh. ganda-ganda. Oh, Ganda sa mga clothes. Tapos, maya-maya. May yeah. dinanam siya sa akin. Sabi niya, baka naman meron kang white. Sabi ko, ang sabi ko talaga, nako, kumakita niya talaga yung chat namin. Sabi niya, eh, baka naman meron kang comfort looking na white dress. Sabi ko, sabi ko, sa dami ko talaga yung naibigay sa'yo, kulang pa rin. Pero, nanghihingi pa ako. Oh, oh. So, parang sinagot ko sa kanya yung picture up oh, oh. image ni Tony Braxton. Sa, ano, sa Unbreak My, my Heart, heart video. Yeah. Pero, And thankfully, mga... nakahanap din siya ng version. Nakapag-deliver naman ako today. Yes. Uh-oh. So, thank you, Edwin Tan, from your archives. <laughs> <laughs> Ito na yung super tako na ba na-inspired. Pero saktong-sakto rin kasi a few days ago lang yung Correct. Yung show. Oo, oh, oh, yung bagong, bagong collection ng tako na ba na sobrang throwback talaga nung Correct. excuse, diba? Like, pati yung mga headpiece. Yes. As in, yun talaga ha. As in, hindi namin sinadya. Oo. Oh. Kasi talaga inspired kami dun sa Sipi Collection. Dun sa Sipi Collection. Tapos bigla, all of a sudden, sobrang... Ano yung collection nila this collection season. Collection nila this year. Talaga so, ayo, collection nila this season. Sobrang pasok na pasok. At As in, like, talaga, with the headpieces din. Correct. So, mas excited lang yung ginawa nila. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, syempre, mas gumawa lang kami ng mas bago yung kaya live. So, yes. yes. And so, much closer to the 60s version. So, mas mas editorial pa rin kahit beauty queen. Yes, yun naman ang gula rin pala ng LT. Tapos syempre, may pasabog tayo na pakabigyan. Ang ganda yan! Ito so, ba excited? Tapos yan, yeah. may matching may headpiece head head na naman head siya. Mabigat din. Mabigat din, so huwag na natin galawin baka hindi na siya umabot sa shoe. <laughs> <laughs> Very pang workout din siya. Oh, bagay na bagay sa ating squat rack. Ano? Buti na lang ito yung rack natin. Ang bigat ng mga dami. True. Actually, dapat yung barbell na nilagay nila. Ito kasi yung parang warm-up stick ko lang. Oh, no. So, ayan. Yun ang ating styling pegs. Very good na naman today, tita. Ay, may God subscribe ka yung channel! Ay, yes! By the way, may channel din pala si Els, tsaka yung boyfriend. His and his. His and his. Matapuntahan nyo na lang. Pag nagpa-premiere, palaging chumichika sila sa premiere. True. Oo. Parang namin tayo. So, eto. Nagda-DI. Nagda-DIY si Miss Elds na... Sabi ko nga, mamaya pag... Gladiators. Si BJ Pasko lang ang papagawa sa akin ng ganito, ha? Baka may mag-hire sa akin, mag-DIY ako na mag-DIY sa akin. Medyo maliit-liit ng konti. May cliffhanger. Hindi kayo, tingnan mo. Sakla! For the first two layouts, I used my favorite lighting setup, uh, just two 400 watt RAM light strobes. So one strobe with an aperture light dome two at a 45-ish degree angle facing the model, but I usually adjust depending on the model's face. And then another with an aperture mini dome two directly below the key light just for fill. The key light is always on full power while I adjust the fill to around half power depending on the subject's features. Ayan, gusto yung may talon. <laughs> so, hindi na natin na-interview sila, Eliza, Justin, and Alice kanina kasi medyo nag-start na agad tayo. Ito na yung second look and interview natin sila about the makeup look. Hair and makeup looks. Ikaw, Alice, explain mo na yung first look. Yung, ano ito yun? Ano yung hiya kasi ako? Char na ito yung hiya ako. Pero kuya, ano kasi yun eh? <laughs> so, yung kaninang ano hair natin yun, ngayon. Bet ni BJ, request niya yun, ay symmetrical yung hair niya dapat gano'n. So, yes. Diba? Pero hindi ko may i-spell, so huwag nyo na lang pa-spell. <laughs> Tapos ito naman yung next. Siyempre, iba naman ang request. Hindi na si BJ, si Elz okay. naman. <laughs> 
So, pa yung request talaga yung mga hairstyle dito, guy. Oh, True. So, <laughs> ano lang naisi pa namin, actually. Gusto niya yung guide niya. Wet look, wet look na mesh-mesh. Na medyo magulo. Oh, Parang buhay ko lang talaga yan. Eh. Basa and oh, kalat. Basa at kalat. <laughs> <laughs> so, alam niyo na ko ano yung buhay ko, guys. Yung first look kasi medyo inspired siya. Parang modern take on the Vidal Sassoon look. Parang ano siya. Asymmetrical, Mas but yung mahaba. Ulitin niyo yun. Ano na yung gita-gita ng shot? Bigla, ah! So yun, actually yung first look namin was inspired by yung Vidal Sassoon look noong 60s, but more modern na lang na version. Kasi mas mahaba yung hair na version. Pero asymmetrical siya. So hindi pantay. Uh -huh. So Justin, ikaw naman, ang makeup looks natin today. Inisip namin yung dapat medyo... Hindi yung tulak ko siya. Oo nga. Meron yung mga bata. Medyo hindi dapat sobrang high fashion since Eliza is a busy queen. So yes. hindi natin siya pwedeng laruin ng sobra. So dapat oh. maganda pa rin siya. Kahit medyo fashion na nyo. Ang enhanced lang yung natural. What? Wow. <laughs> natural beauty. Natural beauty. <laughs> Kaya rasyon, pero ano pa rin? Relatable. Relatable. Oh, oh. Since kasi syempre, ang mark... Kailangan mark... makilala siya. Yeah, kailangan ka makapa rin niya. Kasi ang market ng photos na to ay mga pageant fans. Like yes. all of us here. <laughs> so kailangan nga appreciate pa rin. Hindi na siya, hindi pwede yung sobrang-sobrang editorial. Medyo lang. Para may konting edge, di ba? Ano yung next look mo naman? Is parang medyo rose gold ba to? Or yes. rose? Inspired by the By the dress. chain mail. Oo. Oh, oh. So... Nag-add ako ng glitter, ng, ng chunky glitters, different um, uh, types of glitter sa eyes para lang mag-pop. Mas bumago. And for the skin, mas basa lang compared to the first one. Shiny siya. I mean, mas glossy yung look. Mm, the love it. Pati yung lips, ano? Glossy. So, Eliza, kumusta naman yung puwet mo? <laughs> so, makit kanina. Actually, take ko na to, guys. Oo, oh, <laughs> kasi kumakit yung puwet niya dun sa chainmail. Diba yung chainmail? Medyo matigas siya. So, ayun. O siya, hintayin ko na lang kayo later. Magpasabog ulit tayo. See ya! For this layout, I used two lights again, but this time I used one continuous light source which is the Aperture 300D Mark II with the spotlight mount set also from Aperture and pointed it to the mirrored floor panels which reflected these interesting shadows and highlights onto the background. Then to fill in the darker areas, I combined a 400 watt strobe and asked my assistant to follow Eliza's face. For the strobe, I used a cheaper version of the spotlight mount set that I found in Lazada, but I would not recommend it because one, it overheats the strobes very very easily and number two, the Bowens mount does not fit correctly with my Bowens mount strobes so you kind of have to force it in and have to duct tape it to make it a bit safer but it causes more overheating so it works but I wouldn't recommend it. For this layout, I used the same lighting as the first two looks, but just changed the background to white. National costume. Ano ba sa abanda? Ano probinsya? Ano planeta? Ano planeta? last layout, it's pretty much the same lighting as the third look with the mirrored floors but this time I used a blue backdrop because I kind of wanted it to look underwater-ish but this time I used the strobe to fill in the darker shadows in the background instead of pointing directly at Eliza's face. Then I used a Hoya 6 point cross filter in front of my lens to achieve this sparkly effect.
So that's it for today's shoot. I hope you guys enjoyed our little baklaan session here. And we are going to see the rest of the Philippines in a few days. So if you have any comments or suggestions, if you have any favorite layouts or you don't like it, don't forget to comment down below. And don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and hit the notification button to get updated on my next videos. So see you guys next week! Thank you.